the, the test carried out Wednesday night of the latest Arrow 2 air defense system, uh, shooting down a simulated long-range missile uh, high above the Mediterranean Sea. That was uh, Wednesday night, late Wednesday night, uh, local time in Israel, so that would have been in the afternoon here. Uh, that according to U.S. and Israeli defense officials. Now, the Arrow 2 system has already been online in Israel since 2017. This is an upgraded version of it designed by Israel Aerospace Industries and, of course, uh, you know, aerospace giant Boeing. It's part of Israel's multi-layered missile and rocket defense systems designed to take down short, medium, and long-range rockets and missiles, primarily from Gaza, the Gaza Strip, Lebanon, and Iran. The Arrow 2 system was actually activated back in 2017 to shoot down a Syrian surface-to-air missile. Uh, another defense system, since we're on the topic, the Iron Dome rocket defense system is used extensively along Israel's borders with Gaza to take out rockets fired from the strip. I've seen that in action. I was actually standing next to one during Operation Protective Edge, the war in Gaza in 2014, when it fired off a missile to take down a rocket. Uh, I saw it in action both in Gaza when I was covering the war and then along the southern border with Gaza. Uh, the David Sling missile defense system, another one developed by Raytheon and Israel's Rafael Advanced Defense Systems, is along Israel's northern borders with Lebanon and Syria, designed to take out uh, medium-range rockets and missiles. It was actually activated back in July 2018 to count or two missiles over the Golan Heights in Syria during that country's civil war. So these systems have already been operable uh, during a tour of an Israeli Air Force base in the Negev Desert in southern Israel back in 2018. I actually saw not only the Iron Dome, but the David Sling and Aero 2 missile system batteries up close, you know, standing right next to them. Uh, along with threats from Syria and Iranian proxies in, uh, in Syria, Hezbollah in Lebanon has an estimated 130 to 150,000 short and medium range rockets uh, aimed at Israel, according to Israeli defense officials, many of whom I talked to about this and covered extensively. So both the U.S. and Israeli officials say these systems, as expensive as they are, we're talking close to a billion dollars, are necessary for Israel's defense. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu said this about Wednesday's test. He said, quote, we have proven, let me get this, we have proven again that the state of Israel possesses defensive and offensive capabilities that are among the strongest and most advanced in the world. I'd like to express deep appreciation to our U.S. ally for jointly advancing our security. Our enemies and those who seek our ill should know the state of Israel is prepared for any threat. And along with the Arrow 2 system, real quickly, Manila, last summer the U.S. and Israel also successfully tested the Arrow 3 missile defense system in Alaska, designed to shoot down an intercontinental ballistic missile outside the Earth's uh, but atmosphere. Israel is under threat from uh, Hezbollah in, in South Lebanon and from Iran, because uh, the state of war that exists with both parties uh, has not gone away. And so uh, what we now have is a missile gap uh, and an arms race, uh, yeah. because if Israel has tooled up defensively against both of these uh, potential adversaries, those adventures are going, adversaries are going to tool up uh, on the offensive side, so it sure. doesn't actually bring peace. It might bring a missile gap for All a little right. race, wow. and uh, the, an arms race can either bankrupt one partner uh, in that race, uh, or it can lead to a real shooting war. Uh, people perceive that they have a momentary advantage. For example, if this uh, test was everything Israel and the U.S. said it was yesterday, well, there is a moment now uh, at which uh, Israel could attack Iran, attack its uh, nuclear industry, for example, and find, think itself invulnerable to response. Whether that's true or not uh, is another matter. Uh, these uh, these uh, systems are always said to be foolproof, uh, but John saw them operating. I would have liked to have heard from him just how effective they were. In my own experience in war zones, uh, these systems look much better on the blueprint, uh, on the desk, on the computer screen, than they actually work uh, in the heat of battle, uh, where Murphy's Law prevails. Uh, no plan survives the first contact with the enemy. The Syrian Arab army and the secular republic of Syria prevailed, although it has not cleared uh, the 
invaders out of all of its territory. So the war continues, albeit at a much lower level. Uh, but that was a proxy war. Uh, something like 25 countries invaded Syria, uh, organized by the United States, Britain, and France. But they, they failed because of the fortitude of Syria and its allies, the principle of which, of course, was Russia. Uh, but the jihadist mix, the, the jigsaw puzzle of jihadi groups haven't gone away. They've uh, gone on to fight in other places, and they could come back uh, to haunt the Syrian people again. Uh, but proxy wars are all the rage. Yeah.